Matt and welcome to today's writing video. Now it is a creative day so you get to pick whatever you want to write about whether it's something that you've made or something that you've seen or just something that you want to write about. Now when I was outside having my lunch break I saw lots and lots of lizards on the footpath. So I'll quickly put in a video now and I'll see you later. crazy was it? There was so many lizards and there was, I think there was over 10 and they kept moving in and out. So I thought that I would write about it today because it was so interesting. So first of all, I thought about what I was going to write about and I've drawn it on my paper here and it's nice and detailed and you can see all the little lizards there. So now it's time to think about my message. So I'm going to say I saw lots of tiny lizards on the footpath. So I've said what I've seen and where I've seen it. And I'm making it interesting by saying what type of lizards. They weren't blue tongue lizards, they were the tiny little baby ones. I think they're called skinks. Okay, so I'm going to start with I, which you all know how to do, and it's a big letter because it's the start of a sentence. I saw lots of. Now I'm going to say tiny because that's what they are. Or you could say small, tiny lizards. Hmm. Now I'm going to look back through my writing that I've written over the time because I know that I've written about lizards before. Oh, there it is. So, uh, my picture of the lizard who was trying to eat the spider. And I can see the word lizards. That's what good writers do. They borrow words from around the room or where they can see them. So I'm going to borrow the word lizard. So I'm going to take a picture and I'm going to be borrowing it. All right, I saw lots of tiny lizards. Now I'm going to say where I saw them. So they're on the footpath or on the concrete beside the hedge. So I'm going to say, I saw lots of tiny lizards on the, or easy peasy, footpath. Now, it's two words put together to make one. Can you hear it? Footpath. So I'm going to start with the first part, which is foot. Now we're going to stretch it out like bubble gum. Foot. Oh, I can hear a few sounds that I know. Ooh, like book. T Ooh, okay. So three sounds that I hear. I can hear a f. Ooh, like book, which is the double O. Foot. Now I'm going to do the second part, remember, because it was foot, path. P, a, f. Hmm. P, a, f. I can hear a P. And then I hear an R, but I don't think it's an R. Sometimes letters say a name that they normally don't. And in this case, it's an A saying the R sound. So, P, R, F. Oh, can you see how my tongue is going behind my teeth? So it must be T, H. Now my sentence is finished, so I'm going to put a full stop. Okay. Now I'm going to think about what else I want to write. I'm going to say... They were enjoying the sun. But I want to make it a bit more interesting. It was a very sunny day that day, so I think I'm going to say they were enjoying the hot sun. Because lizards love to lie in the sun and so do snakes because they're reptiles. And reptiles get their energy from the sun, so I think that's what they were doing. Okay, instead of saying the lizards, I'm going to say they. So I'm starting with a big letter because it's the start of a sentence. They were enjoying, well that's a tricky word isn't it, enjoying, there's three parts isn't there, so if I clapped it out there'd be three parts, enjoying, okay, well, I can hear in, so it's an A-N, joy, ing, oh I know, ing is I-N-G, 
shape. You have a nice string that is nice to any sound. They were enjoying that on Ruby Key, so I can copy it with hot. I can stretch this one out. Her hot. Okay, so I can hear her hot. Okay, they were enjoying the hot sun. Oh, I know how to write sun. And I'm going to say that they were very excited to be laying in the sun. So I'm going to show the readers that they were excited to be in the sun by using an exclamation mark. Because exclamation marks show the reader strong emotions. So it could be very angry, very sad, very excited, very upset. I'm just saying they're very excited. Now, good readers also read back their message to check that it makes sense and sounds right. So I'm going to do that now. I saw lots of tiny lizards on the footpath. They were enjoying the hot sun. I wonder what you're going to write about today. See you soon.